है एवरी वन सो देर इज़ अ न्यू टूल इन दी मार्केट कार्ड ओपन कोड डेस्क टॉप एक्चुअली ओपन कोड हैज़ फाइनली रिलीज देयर डेस्क टॉप ऐप एंड इट्स इन बीटा राइट नो इफ यू हैव बिन फॉलोइंग द ए आई कोडिंग स्पेस एट ऑल यू प्रोबेबली नो ओपन कोड हैज़ दैट ओपन सोर्स टर्मिनल एजेंट दैट आर लॉट ऑफ डिवेलपर हैज़ बिन यूजिंग इट्स गॉट मोर देन फोर्टी थाउजेंड स्टार्स ऑन गिट हब विच इज़ प्रिटी वाइल्ड वैन यू थिंक अबाउट इट All right so for those who might be new to this whole thing let me just quickly explain what open code actually is it's basically an ai coding agent that was originally built to work right inside your terminal the cool thing about it being open source is that you can use it with free models you are not locked into paying for some subscription services or anything like that you can hook it up to cloud gpt gemini or even run local models if that's your thing It's got support for over 75 different provider which is honestly kind of insane. Now what makes open code different from a lot of other AI coding tool is this thing called LSP support. LSP stand for language server protocol and it's the same technology that power things like auto completion and error checking in VS code. So when you ask open code to refactor something or explain your code, it's not just looking at raw text. It's actually understand the structure of your code, the dependencies where functions are being called from all that stuff. This makes it way more accurate and useful than tools that just treat your code like a bunch of text. So anyway the desktop app just came out and i have been playing around with it let me show you how to actually get this thing set up you will want to head over to the opencode.ai and you will see the main page where you can either grab the cli version or download the desktop app i am on mac so i am just going to click on the download and grab the installer they have got versions for windows and linux too so whatever operating system you are on they have got you covered After you install it and open it up this is what you are looking at now i want to be real with you here this is a beta software like they say it's beta but honestly it feels more like an alpha release there are bugs things don't have work smoothly and the interface can be bit clunky at times but that's kind of expected when something is new they are actively working on it and pushing updates pretty regularly All right so when you first open the app you will need to select a directory to work in this is basically telling open code which project folder you want it to help you with once you have got that set up you will notice there are two main modes you can work in build mode and plan mode the plan mode is pretty neat because it lets the ai map out how it's going to approach a task before actually making any change to your code it's kind of like having the ai explain its game plan first so you can review it and make sure it's on the right track now let's talk about the models you can use open code comes with three free models built right in gpt5 nano which is pretty solid grow code fast one and big pickle which is actually their own model you can also connect other provider through your own api keys if you want access to more powerful models like cloud sonnet or the latest gpt models the setup for that is pretty straight forward you just go into the provider settings and add your key So let me show you how this actually works with the real example. I am going to tell Open Code to plan out a task for me. Let's say I want to build an e-commerce dashboard that tracks order and inventory. I will type that into the prompt and it's displaying all the reasoning right here in the interface. There are even sound effect when it's working which some people might find annoying but I kind of like it. It gives you feedback that something is actually happening. The planning stage is creating a step by step breakdown of how it would build this e-commerce dashboard. You can see it's thinking about the directory structure, what file it need to create, how the dashboard components would work, all of that. After I approve the plan, it creates what they call sessions. Each session is basically a separate task or workflow you are working on. You can have multiple sessions running at the same time, which is actually really useful if you are juggling different features or bug fixing. Right now, it's executing the plan I approved, and you can see it's using the shell to create directories and set up the project structure. One of the things I really like about the desktop app is that you can see all the code changes happening live. There is this diff view on the side that shows you exactly what's being added, modified or deleted in your files. The addition shows up in green and deletion in red, just like you would see in git. It makes it really easy to review changes before you commit them. All right so it looks like open code finished building the e-commerce dashboard. Let me show you what it actually created. We have got this clean interface and different sections for orders, products and analytics. 
there is a real time order tracking system inventory management panels and some nice charts showing sales trend over time the dashboard displays key metrics like total revenue and low stock alerts the quality of output you get from just a simple prompt is honestly pretty impressive now let me talk about some of the other features in the desktop app you can manage all your session changes directly within the interface so if i want to review what got changed when i added a new feature i can pull up the full diff right here you can also open open code directly in a new terminal if you prefer working that way there is a lot of flexibility in how you interact with it also we can use it with mgrep as well it's a semantic code search tool that makes everything way faster like we are talking four times faster while using three times few tokens you install it separately through npm and once it's enabled it can semantically search through code images pdf all kind of stuff this means few tokens get wasted you get results faster and the whole agent workflow become way more efficient so let's talk about some of the issues because i want to be honest about what you are getting into here the ui has some weird issues like there is this add button in the session tab like you would think it create a new sessions right wrong it opens a file picker to actually create a new session you would have to go to the left sidebar or the top menu stuff like that just does not make intuitive sense and it slows you down the terminal font cannot be customized in the desktop app which makes it look kind of weird on some systems it feels very electron like even though i am not sure what it's actually built with sometime if you accidentally hit backspace while focused on the wrong part of the app it jumps back like a browser which is super annoying performance can also be an issue i have seen reports on github of app just hanging randomly not responding to inputs that kind of thing on windows especially there seems to be quite a few problems with installation and stability some people cannot even get it to launch properly the developers are actively fixing those issues but right now you need to be prepared for some frustration if you are going to use this Another thing to keep in mind is that the desktop app might not stay free forever. The CLI tool will probably remain open source, but I would not be surprised if they start charging for the desktop version down the line. So if you want to try it out and build some stuff with it, now is probably a good time to do that while it's still in beta and completely free. Here is my honest take on this. If you are looking for something polished and production ready, this tool is not ready yet. Tools like Verdant are even just running in the open CLI in your terminal and probably better options right now if you need something reliable. But here is the thing, open core desktop has a lot of potential. The underlying technology is solid, the LSP integration is genuinely impressive, and the fact that it's open source means the community can contribute and make it better. It's just very rough around the edges right now. If you are a kind of person who likes being on the cutting edge and does not mind dealing with the bugs then definitely give it a shot you might find it useful for prototyping or building simple apps pretty quickly the terminal version of the open code is actually really solid if you are comfortable working in the command line it's got a clean interface it's fast and it does not try to be something it's not some people prefer tools like crush because they are simpler and more focused but open code has this whole ecosystem built around it with extensions for vs code cursor z all other popular editors you can even share your open code sessions with teammates using a share command which is pretty cool for collaborations all right so should you use this it depends if you are already using open code in the terminal and you just want to try the desktop version out of curiosity go for it just know what you are getting into if you are brand new to the ai coding agents i would maybe suggest starting with the terminal version first or trying some other tools to see what works for your workflow the desktop app will get better over time but right now it needs some serious polishes all right so that's pretty much everything i wanted to cover about open core desktop thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video